Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pan series. My name is Shows Upper Woman. Every Monday we post a new video about the personal top 3 pans of Panfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. First of all, I want to thank the person who recommended the Korean YouTube channel Ink Ink to us as possible candidates for our top 3 series. Secondly, I want to thank Ink for telling her story in English. It is the first time ever she did a video in English and we think she did a fantastic job. Once you're done watching this video, go check out the Ink Ink channel on YouTube. Her reviews are in Korean with English subtitles. The rest of her videos do not need language at all. You can just sit back, relax and watch the writing magic. I am Ink and running a YouTube channel in Seoul, Korea. I make from fountain pen and ink reviews to some kind of ASMRs and always trying to constantly challenge. So actually, this is my first time making a clip in English and God, this is super awkward. <laughs> anyway, let me get started. I thought a lot to choose my top three pens. As I always use fountain pens, except for special occasions, they are all fountain pens. Since they are to be the most meaningful pieces to me, I'm going to count one by one in category. The first is Pelican M600 Pink White. Of course, it is highly appreciated objectively too. It was my first ever big spend as a college student. Before then, I used to write with one pen for years. I bought Lamy Safari as my very first fountain pen, but it disappeared while I went to the restroom. There's a sad story about that. And I got Waterman's New Hemisphere for next. Those are great pens too, and I'm still using it well. But as soon as I saw the photos of Pelican's new special edition, I really wanted it, so I bought it after thinking a bit. And I still remember the moment I untied the ribbon and drew the first stroke with it. It was very tender, also the stroke quite thick for EF nib. I think that became the turning point of being in the business of fountain pen collection for me. As time passed and the popularity of pink white grew more and more, <laughs> I'm really happy that my choice was not wrong. And for the second one, I'll choose Palette Elabo. I like it so much that I made the first review with this in my channel. I don't know exactly why, but the way it writes feels very comfortable to me. And this is also my travel mate. Whenever I go somewhere, I bring a small pocket-sized thin note with Elabo. I love the unique line variation, of course, with beautiful ink spreading that follows. Now that I think about, it doesn't depend on writing angle much, and very easy to use even if I'm holding a note with my left hand, like this. It was okay with air pressure change. I love to scribble in airplanes. Oh, and one more thing. As its price is quite reasonable, I don't have to pay attention to the pen too much when traveling. Once, a friend of mine wanted to try this pen, so I lent it to him. But he was holding the pen in a strange way, and the nib went wrong. Some weird, scratchy feeling was added. The problem is, I went to Tokyo a week earlier or so, and arranged the nib slit with Nib Meister in there. As there were no official service center for Violet in Korea, I searched the internet and visited a private center. It is called Hyungusu in Korean, and the head of the center was finally able to fix it. After going through many events together, I come to think it more precious. The last but not least, I consider so much for the last one. Here is Aurora 88. It is a bit different from current 88 because the nib is older version, the tines are longer. If Pelican M600 helped me start enjoying the allure of a gold nib, this vintage 88 got me interested in vintage pants. The touch was totally different from current Aurora, which I had experienced before and expected to this one too. I was really fascinated by the changed writing feeling, resulted by the slight difference of the nib shape. I liked it so much and used it every day for a while, maybe a couple of months. Now it is much smoother than initial. Of course, it might have many owners before me. Also, as it is kind of annoying to change ink in with Aurora, standard black ink from the same company is always in it. That makes whenever I write with this pen, I feel exactly the same. And it's quite satisfying. 
It is a pleasant surprise that I can always experience when I want that nostalgic feeling. So, these were the top three pens for me. There's nothing very special though. I would like to express my gratitude to Apple Bloom Pennant for giving me the opportunity for this untacked interview. Thanks to this project, I looked back at the pens I have once more. I really want to visit the offline store someday, hopefully when this abominable travel restriction is lifted. If you enjoyed this one, please come visit my channel. Thank you.